good afternoon from a rainy day here in Nepal. Guys, I finally made it to Nepal. I spent a couple days in Kathmandu and unfortunately I was a little bit sick so I didn't film anything there but we'll be back there later on in this trip. But today we're enjoying the mountains. We got trucks flying by down the road. You got these sharp corners and uh, it is absolutely pissing down with rain. But we're on the way to Chitwan, Chitwan National Park, which is an amazing place to see the wildlife, the nature. Uh, I've seen rhinos walking along the streets apparently, coming out of ATMs, which is crazy. Uh, but we got our taxi over there. We got our driver uh, in a little uh, shop, having a little bit of a chai break. And I got a friend that featured in a video a couple years ago, someone that I haven't seen for a couple years. And uh, I'll be introducing you to him shortly, but I'll bring you all along for the journey as we uh, make our way to Chitwan. I need to get out of the rain. It is absolutely pissing down. Let's, uh, let's go on the journey through the Nepalese mountains. So all along these roads here, they got like little kind of like chai shops where you can have a break, go to the toilet. So we're just kind of like bunkering down here at the moment. And Yo, Mr. Yad Ventures. If you guys have been watching the videos for like two or three years, we actually linked up in Kurdistan ages ago, which is where you're originally from. Yeah, so it has been a very long time, but we're just chilling out. Our, where'd he go? Driver? I think he's oh, he, it, yeah. he's uh, getting, the, getting the bill, but we're just in this like little shop here, which is really cool. You can get chai, you can get cakes, you can get eggs, people enjoying their meal, but we've got a nice view of the mountains and stuff. As I said, it's absolutely pissing down with rain. So it's a little bit overcast, a little bit cloudy, but luckily we're not gonna be in this rain for much longer as we slowly make our way to Chitwan. But look at all the traffic down there, just building up all the trucks and buses, transporting the goods and the passengers. But uh, yeah, we are going to bring you all along for the journey as we go through the Nepalese mountains, which will be a fun time. And then once we get to Chitwan, we'll spend a couple days there in nature, exploring all the sites and seeing what that little city, little town has to offer. Let's do it. So we've been driving for about an hour or an hour and a half since you saw that last clip. But we have stopped off and the rain has also stopped. Look how beautiful this area is. It's so green. Got the trees. Got the Nepalese music in the background. Um, but we're going to stop off for a drink. Maybe get a bite to eat. And I think we're around two, two hours, two and a half hours away from Chitwan. But it's nice not having the rain. It's <laughs> when I did this intro for this video, it was uh, I was getting soaked. I was getting saturated. But look at that! <laughs> it's so cool just being in a different culture, being in a different vibes. Never been to Nepal, so this is such a good experience. Just seeing new things, which is sick. It's so nice being up in the mountains and in like chill areas. So calming and peaceful we got like the beautiful trees and stuff as i was saying before do you know where our, where'd our driver go he was in the toilet oh ah. oh yeah got the bathrooms there and then wow yeah look at all that it's like a all you can eat buffet this is such a big eating area uh, i've lost everyone everyone's disappeared the ad's gone the driver's gone but i wanted to walk down here because look at this everybody wow that is one staircase and a half but we've got the river that's running through the mountains here so i imagine that comes all the way from the himalayas makes its way down all the glacial water but yeah, let's go on oh that that is actually pretty sketchy maybe we'll stay up here wow so gorgeous so pretty We've just been chilling for the past 10 minutes, just enjoying the view, but it's 
We must have come in at peak hour time. There's absolutely no one here anymore. Even up at the like the food buffet area. It's uh there's barely anybody around. But look, over here I don't know what they're making. They're doing potatoes, are they? Oh yeah. Potatoes. Namaste. Doing good? What is this? Potato? Ah, very nice. The potato men. Alright, let's uh, find our driver and we'll get on with the rest of the road trip. What'd you get? I don't know. Well, I'll sell some digestives for the road. <laughs> There's some chewing gums. Oh, nice. Fresh enough. They got some Kit Kats. Oh, how much, Rupi? One fifty. Sorry? One fifty. Okay, I'll have two, please. No, no. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Alright, let's get back on the road, everybody. So, how far till Chitwan? Chitwan from there, 100 kilometers. 100 kilometers. Yeah. How many hours? Uh, maybe. Two hours, three two hours? Two and a half, three, something. Okay. But you can do it in one hour. Because uh, you drive really fast, right? <laughs> <laughs> like NASCAR. Formula, a, Formula One. He's like the <laughs> Hamilton of Nepal. <laughs> uh -huh. Which is where you want to go? <laughs> when, when it was raining. Now it's a good view. Yeah, yeah. Before it was really bumpy yeah. and uh, after, after wet. After 30 kilometers. 30 kilometers? Yeah, 30 kilometers nice Ah, okay. Uh, just before, like maybe an hour ago, when it was like pissing down, we were going all the corners and stuff. He was absolutely flying, going past the trucks and stuff, and we were like, my guy, we're gonna to get to Chit One in in one piece. There's no use of us getting there in two halves. I thought I was gonna die to one. <laughs> yeah, you had, you had to tell him, brother, bye, die, die, slow down. <laughs> 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 All right, let's do it. Nothing for good. Uh, All yeah, good. Nothing. This river coming from China. Oh, this river's from China. Yeah. So up in the Himalayas or? That's what I was saying uh, just before when I was on the on the riverside is that this uh, might be coming up from the Himalayas up in the mountains but it's coming all the way from China so it goes through China, comes through Nepal and it probably makes its way eventually down through parts of India. But it's just such cool little like villages, little restaurants, little shops. In Bangladesh you call them tongs, in India you call them dubbers. They all got their unique little names. I had to get the cab driver no, stay by, to stop for a couple minutes just because I saw this really cool like kind of theme park down here as well as this massive suspension bridge. So basically on the whole trip here I've been seeing all these little like suspension bridges that connect one side of the river to the other side. Similar to the ones that I saw in northern Pakistan at, uh, in Hunza. There's the Pasu Bridge which is absolutely crazy and uh, super run down and there are a couple other ones but I've been seeing them and uh, I was like, I need to go and explore one quickly. So I'm not sure if you can see in the distance there. No one stay by. You good? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, look at this little bridge here. A little suspension bridge. People are here enjoying. There's even like a, a theme park and carnival. No one stay over on this side. Look at that Ferris wheel. And it's even got a pirate ship just going. This is literally just in the middle of absolutely nowhere. But. You all know how much I love bridges. I can't not miss this opportunity. Namaste. Let's uh, go up and see what this is all about. Wow. People are just like chilling. So this would connect one side of this village to the other side. But wow, look at that, it's like a little theme park. Got all the carnival games, all the food, people singing. Oh, here we go. 
It's a lot safer than the other ones I've been on. But let's walk across a bit. We'll get over the water, we'll get halfway. Oh! This is so, it's even like wobbling in the wind. Wow. This is crazy. Namaste. Namaste. You're walking? How are you? Yeah. I'm yeah. good. Okay. You're walking? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> People are so friendly here, it's nice. But wow. Ah, oh, the wind, the fresh breeze, the air. It's amazing. And look at all the boulders down there. Look how many like massive rocks there are. And I imagine at some parts of the year when it's raining a lot, this whole kind of river would sometimes reach these parts. But oh, it's a little, look, even with your feet, you can make it wobble a little bit. But we'll go a little bit over. And uh, uh, the adrenaline rush you get when you're at the top of the river, walking along the bridge. <laughs> oh my goodness, you will not believe it everybody. Halfway across, there's a motorbike car. How are we going to fit? He's got all his, his bags. How on... Oh my goodness, look at this. How on earth is he going to pass here? This will be a challenge. If even the lady, who's a lot thinner than me, can't get past. Look at this guy. Namaste, namaste. Okay, you can go, you can go. Okay, very good, very good. <laughs> wow. So he must be bringing things from that village over to the mainland. But wow, this is just awesome. All right, we better not let the uh, the rest of the crew wait too long. So let's run across and get back, everybody. Make sure I don't lose my phone. <laughs> Namaste. Wow. So many people are bringing over all kinds of things. Oh. Hello. Let's see what's in here. What has he got? Oh, nothing. Sorry, sir. Hello. Hello. What is the name? What is the name of the bridge? Yeah. Bridge. Yeah, yeah. So that is like. City, town? Yeah, do, do, this uh, Gorka, Gorka, you know ah, Gorka. Gorka, Gorka. Oh, okay. This Gorka, you know your dadding. Ah, and what, so what do they have in, in here? Yeah, yeah, vegetable. vegetables. Vegetables? Yeah. Ah, so they buy and then they yeah, yeah, yeah. take back home? Yeah, it's a uh, farmer. Far ah. Yeah, then you can, uh, farmer is the market. Ah, so here's the market? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Market is. Okay, very nice to meet you. Yeah. Donovan, Donovan. Uh, you, you from? <laughs> Australia. Australia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, nice. You're from? Yeah, I am. Oh, you're. Oh, you're from there. Yes, yeah. So, are uh, you farmer? Farmer? Yeah, yeah farmer. Wow. Are you taking? You know, taking your. Oh yeah. Oh, Annapurna. Oh, you. You have a. Uh, you have done Annapurna. Annapurna. This can you. You know. No, I'm. I'm, I'm too fat. I can't walk. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, <bye. laughs> See you, sir. They're so friendly, just willing to have a chat. Alright, I've been out for way too long. They're probably waiting for me, wondering if I've fallen off this bridge or not. So, let's get back there. Got about Bye. Good? Alright. We're back. Oh, there's Yad. Cool. Better not cross the road yet. Did you think I fell off or something? I was gonna jump off the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's get back. On the road. Guys. 
so there's a lot of suspension bridge but can you imagine your home is all the way at the top there there's a couple of people hiking up those trails with all their goods and stuff i can't even see any homes in sight that's just absolutely crazy that there are actually like villages up in those mountains and people make those daily commutes to the city center to get everything a little markets and then they have to take it all home like where it's like over the ridge that's ridiculous it's just such gorgeous landscape here. There's the road to Pokhara, we're heading down to the south, to Chituan. A cool little city here, little town, village. Alright guys, so we've made it to Chituan, kind of the center region. Uh, we got another 20 minutes or so until we're at the guess what you call the touristy area where all, like the hotels and all that kind of stuff is but it's uh, it's a lot of nature around I saw some signs earlier on oh there's a cow there's our first cow of the trip I saw some signs earlier on saying we we're basically going through this like forest area I know these really cool like ant and like termite mounds I'm not exactly sure what they are we'll see hopefully more of them uh, further on uh, on this trip but they had signs basically saying that there's like rhinos and tigers out and to be cautious and stuff so I saw plenty of people walking along the street and setting up shops and stuff so they mustn't be that much of an issue in this uh, specific part of the town but definitely in the kind of nature reserve areas uh, there'll be plenty of exciting animals to see so that's what we're going to be doing in the next couple of days going on an actual safari into these specific areas but for now we're just roaming through kind of the I guess the city center as I was saying there's kind of a separate part where I guess where all the touristy things are and that's where we're heading but there are a couple of like really nice hotels there we've got the Hotel Star, Chip Juan and then uh, a couple of little shops where people just gone about their day in, uh, in Chip Juan so it's good to be here it took around uh, yeah, five, five hours of driving we had a couple of breaks in between that so probably around six hours all up uh, once you account for the traffic heading out of Kathmandu but look at that guy selling ferris boss <laughs> but yeah we'll head to the hotel and we'll get checked in there guys you will not believe it literally we've seen our first rhino right on the street here look how crazy that is no it's just a just a statue but there's a lot of exciting things going on here the cool thing about um, Chitwan and you'll see right ahead of us is actually they have tuk-tuks I didn't see a single tuk-tuk when I was in Kathmandu but here there's an abundance of them so we'll be able to get around on a local transport using those but yeah it seems like a vibrant place I'm not sure if you guys saw that in the distance the GoPro doesn't get too much of a long distance shot but there's actually elephants over there um, I think they're like captive elephants because someone was riding one um, but it's crazy just to see out of the corner uh, of your eye next, uh, next um, but this place is awesome next honestly yeah. it's like so rural such a vibe I think we're heading into the main area of, of town now but it looks like there's just so much fun stuff to do and it's nice being out of the city and being in nature Booking.com pr prison cell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So we made it. So I think this hotel, obviously, a lot of them offer their own safaris and stuff. We are a couple kilometers out of like the main area, but it's so nice. 
just being out in nature like look at this when we were coming in and if you can see in the distance over there there's someone like working on those like white little cardboard boxes and they're actually bee like bees beehives so like 200 like beehives just in these like white little uh, boxes that they have um, so we can explore that later on but so peaceful just the sound of insects birds water it's so beautiful die for your services thank you very much thank you all together 18 18 big ones okay 18 benjamins one two three four five sixteen seventeen eighteen Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Last yet? Thank you. No, thank, thank you. Everything. Thank you so much. You made it. You got us here in one piece. Yeah. <laughs> Very good driving. Thank you. Okay. Will you party in? All right. Let's go in and uh, get checked in and explore this place, guys. Wow. Got a nice little bamboo swing there. Hello. Namaste. Bye. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Good. Welcome to Green Mansion. Thank you. Please have a seat here, please. Okay. We're not checking in yet. Yeah. This is our reception. That's so. Good. It's so beautiful. Yeah, thank you very much. Outside, outside, I thought it was a prison name cell. Yeah. Sorry? Your name is Air Sir? Air Sir? So, which, no. which name, name? We have two bookings. Booking two bookings. Air Sir and Luki. Yeah, Luke, I'm Luki. 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 Namaste, welcome to Green Thank you. Please have a seat there. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> they got my booking at least. I did it on booking.com, but look how gorgeous this is, guys. It's outside. I saw like numbers on rooms and I didn't have the best of hopes. Yad told me he was staying here. This was like a last minute trip and I was like, let me hop in a taxi with you. But this is gorgeous. Look at the little swing there. We'll have to go on that shortly. There's a swimming pool over that way. Look, looks awesome. I would like to you oh. give you like a Wi Fi. This is very important thing. This is the most important. Thing. Most important. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> technology. Yeah, technology. Yeah. yeah. And actually, we have so many different different Wi Fi username. Okay. Like uh, here, you can get swimming pool. If you go in the room, oh, wow. there is a uh, another different username. Yeah. Like a block A, block B. Two vlog, two bill vlog, and if you go in the restaurant, there is we have another restaurant. And it's all all the same. Restaurant. The same, same password. All of the username has same password. Same. Ah. Okay, so and grass easy to remember. Yeah. Okay, so if I forget, grasslands one two three four. Yeah. So can you help me to write down both of you good name, please? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So who want to write you uh, and you? I'll go. Okay. <laughs> So I need a both up a uh, password, please. Password. password. Passport. Yeah, both up passport. I can give you password if you want. Okay, yeah, password is here. I need your passport. Pass passport. Okay. Yeah. There's mine. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Something is coming out. What is this? I don't know. All right. What are we signing in on, guys? All right, guys. So we're just adding the check-in date, the name. I actually have an interesting question here, the gender, male or female. I am actually identifying as a cheese paratha today. Paratha. Don't assume my gender, thank you. Uh, Australian. And room number, I'm not sure. Room, room number? Yeah, uh, you you are a Lucky, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucky, uh, you have a six room number six. Six, and he has a room number eight. Eight. Yeah. All right. Very good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sir. What are you identifying as your gender today, Yad? I'm an alien. <laughs> alien. All right. Oh, thank you. This I'll is add our fresh towel and oil drinks. Oh, thank you. Homemade, yeah. organic. Oh. From the lemon grass. Wow. Oh, you get a fresh yeah. towel. What's yes. the drink? Lemon it's grass. Uh, any ice water? Oh, it smells or? nice. Ice, sir? Any ice in this or no? No. What is it? Just lemon? Yeah, lemon. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Welcome, sir. Right. So, this is your room key, sir. Okay. Fresh. And uh, this is your room key, sir, here. Room number eight and room number six. Seven, uh, six. And uh, which is your? Yeah, this one's this one. Sometime. Like wild animal, but we are very close to the elephants. Park. You have wild elephants sometimes are moving <laughs> around. Yeah, he is coming to the yeah. land and to graze like uh, some soft kind of crops yeah. like paddy rice, mustard corn, 
yeah, okay. any kind of wild wild elephants. They wild do that elephant because we are very close to the park. Yeah. yeah. What about tigers? So, Have you seen a tiger in no, here? No, no. Because there is a uh, that side there is a those people they can use like a electric fence. Ah. Some wild animals, yeah, yeah, yeah. They never came outside. Mm. Just electric shock. Uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah. And uh, if you want to have something tonight, like uh, dinner, uh, our last order is nine o'clock. Okay. How do we tomorrow, get? How do we get into like the city so, center? Uh, just you have to give information here. And you they, need like a tuk tuk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. he will manage for you. And how much does it cost? I roughly? think uh, just one way three hundred uh -huh. rupees maybe. All right, we've got rooms three to eight here. They look very spacious. Yeah, nice. By the looks of it. But it's like, kind of reminds me actually of the safari park that I stayed in Ella. No, in Yala with my dad in Sri Lanka. All right, so we've got eight. There's the yard. And then number six. So we've got the padlocks on here. That the keys are knuckle with. Wow. It smells amazing. Balcony. This is the balcony? Balcony. Oh, wow. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at the view we got there. Okay, thank you, sir. For you. Don't know about Thank you. All right, guys. So we are in the room. We got the uh, double bed, single bed arrangement. Basically, can fit three people. Not that we are needing out. We both have our own separate rooms. But the view is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that out there. It's just such a vibe being out in nature, especially after spending a couple days in the big city of Kathmandu. But this is it, nice little seating area. We've got a little work desk with, I think he was saying one of the bottles is complimentary, but we got two, but we also got AC, which is nice, which we will turn on right now. But this is just like the, the main area. And of course we got the bathroom, my favorite place. Now, oh, thank God. We got a bum gun, guys. I was staying at a hotel in Kathmandu that was like $200 a night for the first couple nights that I was here. And I was, I was pretty sick, so I didn't film any videos, but it didn't have a bum gun. And that is just an absolute disloyalty to many people that are staying at that hotel. So it's good to see that we have the bum gun here and it works. So that is absolutely awesome. That's one thing ticked off and then we got a nice little Shower here, how cool is like the uh, the walls? They're like this golden brown kind of like creamy color, but it's got like such a smooth matte surface. I've oh, got a couple toilet rolls up there and everything you need with soap and stuff. And then of course, outside to the balcony area. But at nighttime, this will definitely have to stay shut while I'm gone. And luckily we got like the fly screens on there, but I heard that uh, dengue fever is a big thing here in Chitwan. Many people said like you need to get mosquito spray so you don't get bitten and potentially get malaria and stuff. But this is just absolutely gorgeous just being out here in nature. So yeah, I think we're going to chill for a bit. Then we'll catch a tuk-tuk into town and hopefully we come across a couple tigers, a couple elephants, a couple rhinos. Who knows, but it'll be a fun time. So let's do it. The little kid in me will be furious if I don't go on this swing. Actually, even the big kid in me wants to go on to it. You reckon it's sturdy? All right, let's see how high we can go. I'm, I'm lopsided. We're getting speed up. I wonder how high you can go. Oh, it's, it's squeaking like. Oh, I'm going sideways as well. Oh no. Oh no. It's a crap. 
god. That thing is wobbling. I started going like at a diagonal. But that thing. That thing was wobbling like crazy. Once you get some speed up. Wow. Oh, good fun. Where's the tuk tuk man? In there. Nope. Oh, look, there's buffaloes. Okay. I will drive. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. All right. We want to just go to uh, Soraha. So we're on the map, we're just over here. We want to get over to around this area. There should only be like 10 minutes or so. Down boy. So how much to Sahara? 300 for. How much? 300. Okay, very good, thank you. All right, 300 rupees. Around, or just under $3, but we got Hours? local traffic, Buffalo. Hello, namaste, bye, namaste. Oh, they're huge. Wow. One of the first things that I noticed here when I was visiting Kathmandu is the lack of tuk-tuks. I'm not sure if they're banned in the city, but didn't see a single tuk-tuk. They just have like these kind of like white cabs and bicycle rickshaws that take you around town. But as soon as we go into Chitwan, I noticed that there is an abundance of them. And here is the abundance of bees that I was mentioning earlier. These are all like beehives, so those people are harvesting the honey. But it's just absolutely gorgeous out here. Look at all the fresh rice paddies, looking super lush and green. But it is just an amazing time to be out exploring the area. Look at that! Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> what did you say? Look at traffic! <laughs> Is there crocodile? Yeah. yeah? Crocodile. Really? Where? Oh wow! Where? Yeah, bro, on the the land, like in the middle bit. In the middle bit. See it? Do you see that? I'm literally trying to see. It. Okay, see that grass bit. Yeah. So it go like ten mi like five ten meters to that grass bit. It's like a looks just like mud. Is that an alligator? Yeah, bro. Oh my Cro God. Crocodile or alligator? Cro crocodile. Yeah. Bro, wow. that's crazy. There is one, one. There is uh, already five, six. Wow. Today so the weather is a little bit cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it? So no, no swimming, no swimming. Yeah, no swimming. That's crazy. This place reminds me a lot of Yala, like literally just crocodiles at your doorstep. Let's see if there's any over there. There's a cow. Mate, he's strapped up as well. The alligator comes after him. He's screwed. Wow. Saw a couple of elephants there. Oh, look what we have up ahead. A three Tarzan horsey. Three Tarzan, three Tarzan. Hello. <laughs> I wonder if they hate three Tarzans for that ride. We've reached the main sort of city center. Lots of really nice like cafes and restaurants, a lot of tattoo places and things catering towards the tourists. But I think uh, up ahead is the river, but there's just plenty of like eatery options. And that is the jungle safari. But look at all these cool little trinket shops. Ah, it looks awesome. Okay, we have made it. Great. Thank you. Bye. Don't about bye. No, no change. You keep. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know what time. You can take my number and call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take your number. Another side in English number. Okay, great. We'll call you.
What's your name, brother? My name is Raju. 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 I'm Luke. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Raju. Yeah, he was a cool guy. All right, let's see if there's any crocodiles. Oh, I presume not, because there's literally like a hundred people walking over there. Wow. I can't believe they're walking. Wow, that is crazy. Oh, I guess that is how you get to the other side. So all these people have finished their half day or full day safaris and then they get over here. All right, so the, I guess that's like the start of the safari, I think. Oh, wow. So if we were to do it, you get your canoe over. It actually looks so dope. Right? Yeah, it looks so cool. Amazing. I feel like I'm in like Jurassic Park. Yeah, no, like, that's so cool. Yeah, we got people. You saw a crocodile? Where's you see? Where's the crocodile? It's there. Where? You can see oh, there's, there's oh the my bird. god, there's like three of them over there. One, two, three. How is it? I never see. Oh my god, there. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, bro, there's like three. So why are they walking? They might get eaten. Oh, they are, no, they, they are just came back from the Jeep yeah. safari tour. They're just back from the Jeep. And uh, they are coming in across with the bay boat. Yeah. So have, do people get eaten sometimes? Not, not eaten here, but it's of course who are, who are going and swim, they gotta eat and Yeah, so if you swim here, you yeah, yeah. die basically. Probably it'll be contract. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. There's just like three crocs chilling over there. Any plan to go in the park then? Uh, maybe, we're not sure, we're discussing it. Discussing. So you guys coming in with the uh, here by yourself? Or yeah, we just came from Kathmandu. Kathmandu. Yeah. How long are you gonna stay here? I think two or three days. Two three days. If you are looking at some excursion tour, I'm also guiding here. Uh -huh. We have another uh, agency calling a cooperative general guide service. We talk. We are the guide. We are. The yeah. So how much does a safari tour safari, cost? Safari. We have many different type of safari. It's the uh, we're walking. It's a half day, whole day, two days, three days. And we do also here in a yeah. jeep safari tour. How much also is that one? Canoe. Which one you like? Ah, uh, like jeep, jeep, jeep for like half ha day. Half day, half day. It will be cost about another per person. It's the uh, permit two thousand rupees. That's yeah, compulsory. Yeah. yeah. And we charge you for half day. Half day it will be uh, cost you another two thousand. Okay. And what about for the full jeep? Full day. Full day. You have. To I mean, no, no, no. For like, uh, like the whole jeep. Yeah, yeah. I know that. Yeah. yeah. In the Whole jeep you wanted, yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah. only two of you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, two of you and the four hour. Yes, yes. Four hour, it will be cost about and the uh, um, both of you, including your permit. Yeah. Full day, no, sorry, and a half day. The jeep and the guide all uh -huh. together, it's cost you about and the nineteen thousand rupees. Nineteen thousand. Yeah. Okay. And you will be the guide? Yes. What's your name? Surendra. Surendra. I'm Luke. Luke nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, guys. Yeah. I'll, go, I'll go speak to my friend and here, yeah, yeah I'll take I your... Yeah, I'm in a car. Perfect. And uh, are you interested in walking or not? No, we're too lazy. Too lazy? We like getting driven, driven around. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll go speak to my friend about yeah, it, alright? No Let's do it a full day, guys. Why not? You, uh, anyway, you are it's here. Well, how long? How, so half day is four hours? Four hours and full day will be starting since morning, seven. Come back in this time. Oh, okay. And we, we just take away in a lunch pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll eat in on the, the, uh, somewhere in the tower. Uh -huh. Price is not a big difference between yeah. the half day and yeah. the what are What different animals are there? The, uh, we like have elephants. the chances to see another you know, when you go on a full day. Yeah, you have it's a lot bear, more. It's bear, tigers. Bears? Yeah. You have and bears? Yeah, we have a bear. Wow. And it's, it's uh, bear. the gaur, you know the gaur? Bison. Gaur is the bison. Oh, yeah. 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 And chances to see in a wild elephant. These are the wow. But if you go on a half day, probably you may see in a rhinos, deer, monkey, yeah, yeah, this yeah. sort of thing, you know. Because in the half day route is quite busy. Busy. Uh -huh. yeah. Because uh, only few days they get the permission for full day. Yeah, yeah. If they cannot get the permission. Yeah. And uh, very busy half day route. Okay. Right, I'll speak to my friend about it. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. You're welcome. <laughs> so, uh, half day, full jeep is 19,000 rupees which is like 150 US or something and that's including all the permits and stuff okay well let's let's decide when we sit down yeah on the best course of action white color did you see 
Why how far? How far? Why? Oh, very far. Yeah. Very far. Yeah. I think I can see it. Well, yeah, well, yeah. It's over there. Yeah. You can see yeah, a white thing moving. Yeah. It's, the grass. Wow. it's close to the grass. It's tall grass. So you can see with your binoculars? Yeah. Why not? Oh. oh, can we check? Yeah. Wow, all right. <laughs> let's, let's have a look. So we're going to use our brother's binoculars here. <laughs> He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Can you sleeping. see it through here? Oh, you can. Sorry, you no, should. Yeah, no problem. Going on straight away, so you see the small tree all the way down. Yeah, I see, I see. Can you see him through the binoculars? Yeah. Really? And it looks good? My eyelashes are so long, it keeps <laughs> getting in the way. <laughs> he was here before. There really? This close? Uh, just so so he, he, he's a, he is a wild one. Uh, he, he's wild. He's wild. Yeah. wild. Yeah, look, give it a go right here. All right, literally he, he, this He's just going to cross over in this way. Doing at the other side. Yeah, my eyelash is getting away. So All right, I need a look. You just have a look, and it's straight, and there is a small tree below that. All right, here, can you hold that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm shaking. Right, I don't think I can see it. You can't see your brother? Just no, moment, no, no, just no. moment. Hold on. I see it better with my own eyes oh. yeah. rather than binoculars. All right. Oh yeah, now it's good. Can you see that it's under the little tree? That one <laughs> tree that sticks out. I can out. see it. It's funny. Blur it's blurry though. Yeah. I'm gonna look at the alligators. Wow. Oh, there's one going into the water, I think. Yeah, but he's huge. You, the huge one is blow down. That's in the Guardial. And it's uh, on the top of the island. You see, under the bank. Yeah. That's a mass mugger. The mugger oh, is the, He's the one with the yeah, long such, nose, right? Long nose is, is just in the down. Like from the rhino to the left. Oh, yeah, I, the rhino is moving. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it is. That's it the was, one near that yeah, yeah, yeah. tree. To just like slightly to the right yeah, of the tree. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Wow. I want to I'll film on my iPhone. And I have like 9x zoom. I'll see if you guys can see that. Yeah, like the 9x zoom on the iPhone. You can It's still like blurry. Oh, but that is really far then. Yeah. But there's the, the alligators. No, crocodiles. Crocodiles. We don't have an alligator. So the big one, how many feet or meters do you think he is? Uh, it is uh, maybe in a more or less that one is three, three and a half. Wow. Meters. Meters. Meters in the water. Seems like they come out in the morning to chill. Guardial doesn't eat in meat, only eat the fish. Oh. The mass mugger is the top of the bank. That one eat everything. Ah. And that one is never coming this side. Why not? Only because here are disturbed. Too busy. Uh, too he busy. can't come up. Yeah. They are not that much aggressive like... Uh, yeah, like they're scared, salty, they're scared, right? Salty water crocodile okay. in salty Australia. In this and in America also they them? have a crocodile no. quite aggressive. They, will, ah. they just sound that they get in the, the fish in the river. We have so many. Mm -hmm. Sometimes animals, they are going in a crossing. They just catch by themselves. Mm. No need to feed him. What is the biggest crocodile that has been the seen biggest, here? The biggest crocodile is the guardial. Is they grown about up to seven meters. And when people, seven meters, somebody has seen? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, we have in a captive. They ah, ah, ah. Few of them, like uh, if we go more western part, yeah. like, uh, there is another big river called the Narayani River. Uh -huh. And in that area, if you see the, you can see that there's some big crocodile. It's like a, like a little boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do the tour by ourselves. Yeah. The find the like individual tourists and do it. Here there we you guys have so many, cool. so many agency and uh, even also in the hotels. They ah. both try to send a different guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in the agency also they do. Unnecessarily, send. like they make a commission. Money. Commission yeah, of course. Money. Yeah. 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 Everybody trying they, to make they money, organize right? Organize the tour and try try to find the like a cheaper guide. Yeah. Like yeah. A, who just start to guiding on those things. Okay, brother. Right. So okay, brother. Yeah, we'll chat to you. Yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. See you later. Just here? Yeah. Oh, here. Namaste, bye. Yeah, we sit here. Yeah, Cheers. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, man. How sick is this? Perfect. Right in the river. All right. It's so chill here. It's such a nice spot. But we're looking at the menu here. What's this place called? The Nature from Rooftop. Oh, no. Rupti. Nice. 
Those guns seem nice. Alright, like they, yeah, were, they seem they were quite cool. trustworthy. Yeah. They're, they're not cushy. Exactly. Like you get a vibe after you yeah, like travel yeah. for a while you like see who's like genuine and all. Yeah, they like seem he's very legit. Chill. Yeah. And plus he's got the binoculars and stuff, so <laughs> you see Yeah, like, when he's in the Jumanji yeah. outfit, you know yeah, he's yeah. no he's legit. End of the day if we get like um Well what? So that that nineteen thousand, that's like a hundred and like seventy US or something. Nineteen thousand. For a half day, full Jeep, and that's all the permit. 115 pounds. 115 pounds. What's it in US? 145 dollars. Okay, because that the hotel was three, 320 with all the permits and stuff. And this is with everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's go with these. Guys. Yeah, yeah. End of the day, all we need is the van. Yeah, exactly. And it's only going to be me and you. All we need is somebody just to take us in. Yeah. And enjoy it. All right, after having a quick browse at the menu, we have decided to explore somewhere else. See what other options are on offer. Namaste Doge. You're a cute little doggy, aren't you? You're well kept. Oh, big stretch. <laughs> doggy style. <laughs> we found a new place, guys, that we're going to eat at. Um, but they have like the options to book things. But we were just discussing our hotel is absolutely rotting their prices as as they usually do with these big kind of chains and stuff like that because it's more convenient for the hotel guests staying there. But that's like around 140 US, whereas the hotel is charging 320 US. Anyways, let's have a look at the menu and we'll eat up. Can I just get the uh, the carbonara, please? The carbonara with uh, crispy bacon or crispy yeah, bacon, please. Yeah, with bacon and uh, French fries, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alright guys, we finished up dinner, just had a quick bite to eat there, good vibe, chatted to a, a couple of Dutch people from the Netherlands about their travels, but we're going to head back to the hotel and uh, get a good night's rest and explore more tomorrow, so thank you so much for watching the video, welcome to the first video of many here in Nepal, and I'm excited to be here, but... Let's finish up the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, chase your dreams. And we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.